and we are back live from the Paris Motor Show. We are thrilled to welcome Thierry Bolloré, Group Renault COO, and Laurence Van Den Acker, Group Renault's Head of Design to the YouTube studio. What an exciting moment. You have just unveiled the Easy Ultimo, the third and final concept car in the Easy Trilogy, and the last part of your vision of tomorrow's mobility. How are you feeling, and what does this represent for Group Renault? We feel good. <laughs> great. No, we feel good. And uh, frankly, it's, it's great to have this trilogy together at the Paris Motor Show because it's really show what is our vision of the driverless urban mobility in the future. And you can understand with EasyGo that this is typical of the urban vehicle for, that is shared. Uh, whereas with uh, Easy Pro, we are talking about the last mile delivery, which is so important for the future of the clean mobility in, uh, in our cities. And then with the Z Ultimo, that frankly speaking, this is the, the private uh, launch, a very luxury one. So far, you can enjoy you know, your um, the conversation and you can enjoy the trip uh, in, a, in a completely driverless uh, superb vehicle. Yeah, and from a design point of view, these types of vehicles, new mobility services, is a completely new chapter for a designer. We are designing cars that I couldn't frankly imagine five years ago if you would have told me we would be designing cars without steering wheels, without pedals, that could find a way by themselves. It's really incredible. And it's nice to see that it helps intelligent cities, it helps smart cities, it will help to, to solve congestion problems. Uh, it will help to solve uh, uh, how can we get people, the packages at the right time, anytime they want. And we can give really an exclusive experience uh, to anybody. And this really fits well to the Renault values, mobility for all, even exclusive premium experience we can offer you uh, in such a vehicle as Easy Ultimo. When I searched on Group Renault website dedicated to shared mobility, one figure in particular stood out. 70% of the world's population will live in cities by 2030. I can't even begin to imagine how busy cities will be in barely more than 10 years from now. How is Group Renault preparing for that? Well, frankly speaking, it's uh, accessible, modern mobility for all. Today and tomorrow is exactly what we are following for urban mobility. And it's clear that uh, we are already, and we have, we have done many experiments in many cities, uh, for example, in Madrid, we've also in Stockholm, we are also having experiments with uh, robo vehicle on open roads in Rouen, for example. And with all these experiments, now we are getting at scale. And we are getting at scale, for example, with the latest uh, announcement we did with the, the city of Paris, where we offer a complete package which is tailor-made, so we can manage this tailor-made package depending on the, the needs of the various cities, but systematically we can have clean mobility, shared mobility with free floating, with carpooling, but also if you need to have a car for the weekend, we have also service, so far you can do it in a very seamless manner. But if you need also transportation, you can do it also with your light commercial vehicle coming to you, and it can be a zero emission light commercial vehicle. So this is where we are moving forward full speed now, and ultimately, of course, and this is where we can see all our concept cars here, this is driverless, because when we will introduce driverless by 2022, the latest, then we will enrich this offer that we want to bring to all cities in the world. Yeah, what's really great is that it's an opportunity for us. We don't see it as a, as a challenge. It's a big challenge, of course, but it's something that needs to happen together with the cities, together with also the governments, because probably we will need help and we need to create an infrastructure. But once uh, you can do it, the, uh, the advantages are enormous because robo-vehicles, they don't have to be parked, they can keep rolling. Uh, robo-vehicles, they can find their way and deliver something. Really, uh, you come down, you pick it up, the car disappears. So there are so many advantages that will fluidify the traffic in a, in a city. And ultimately, we are there to make life easier. We are there to make life more beautiful. So this, these new mobility services will play a big role in cities in the future.
And speaking of the importance of aesthetics, Lawrence Van Den Acker, mm -hmm. can we talk about your amazing collection of concept <laughs> car matching shoes? At every motor show, I think people are as curious about Group Renault's new innovo innovation as they are about your sneakers. How did you first come up with this idea? Well, uh, to be honest, I was uh, when I first became design director and I realized I had to wear a suit all day, I looked in the mirror and I saw my father. <laughs> So I said, uh, I, need to do, I need to find something to remind me that I'm still a designer, still young and still sporty. So this is when I started to wear sneakers. And then the step to link them to the cars that we showed was really a small one. And now my team helps me to really make them perfect for every single show car that we show. It's clear that Group Renault aims to implement its vision worldwide with so much evidence of your international expansion. You have just announced the electrification of the Renault range and the launch of a new model in China next year. Well, KZ that we have disclosed uh, yesterday is absolutely a major event because uh, it's a pure electric A-segment car, extremely modern, SUV-like, and that we are going to to design and manufacture first for China, but it's a world car. And uh, with that car, we know that we can compete with the, the most uh, uh, competitive uh, Chinese manufacturer, but with a product which is from a technological standpoint and in terms of features, very advanced, very modern, with a, a very nice range which is unique on the market today in that segment. That's an example, but we have other examples. For example, in Russia, we have disclosed as well Arcana. We are launching Arcana because we want to fit as well for the Russian customers and their needs, particular needs. But here again, this is a world car. So it means that uh, uh, the expansion of that type of car worldwide is uh, very much uh, likely to, to happen. So yes, we are really fueling our international growth with uh, ranges of uh, new products that we are expanding and accelerating at the moment. This is definitely a very exciting time to be part of a group Renault. Given all the of the different challenges, I bet you could use some help from talented people out there. So the, the, the beauty of what's happening in this revolution in, of, of mobility and of our industry is that we are, the, the car is the next big connected object. And as such, we are attracting a lot of new talents coming into our industry uh, and enriching us. And, uh, of course, we need a lot of talents to make all that happen, as well the talent we already have in our companies, plus new talents. You have to know that last year, in, in 2017, we hired worldwide 25,000 people, and we intend to hire in, in 2019 35,000 people. So the, the bigs are needed in order to fuel our profitable growth. I think what's really nice to see is that in the 50s and the 60s, the cars were a symbol of progress. And now in the, in the 21st centuries, cars will again become a symbol of progress of everything there is positive. Mm -hmm.